Okay, now let's move on to something a little bit more complicated. What if there's a shadow? And what if the ground is irregular? Okay, so here's a file that'll be a little bit harder. As you can see from the source images, there's a bright sun in one camera, which means that the other one's casting a big shadow, and the ground is irregular. Covering that shadow on these cobblestones is going to require a little bit of special work. So let's get to it. Click Edit to open in Autopano Giga. Here's our image. And now the procedure is going to be similar to what we did for the easier one. Let's start by rotating the pitch to 90 degrees and hit transform. And this time I'm not going to zoom in 100%. I am going to zoom in as much as I can and still have this on screen. So let's go in about this far. I'm going to use the scroll bar to pull the whole tripod situation into view. Okay, now that I've got the tripod taking up the screen, I'm going to enter blend mode to clean this up, get the highest quality we can, take a screenshot that includes the tripod and the shadow, switch over to Photoshop, new document, paste it in, and this is basically where we were last time around. I'm going to start with my lasso. And I am going to do the same thing as last time. I'm going to do my fill with content aware as the option. Click OK. And that's my starting point. OK. So the starting point is already pretty good. I could probably use this if I really wanted to. But instead, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. Let's choose the rubber stamp, the left bracket and right bracket keys, adjust the brush size. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. I'm going to hold, I'm going to option click to sample. I'm going to clean up some of these cobblestones a bit. All right now, how much you want to get into this is up to you. And seriously, I would say that the wise way to manage this is to look at the budget of the project. Okay, if it's a high paying client that wants everything immaculate, you might spend many hours here. If it's a personal project, then you're probably already finished. Okay, once again, I'm going to switch to the lasso tool. I'm going to select a broad area that definitely includes every place where we had the tripod in the shadow before. I'm going to select inverse and hit delete, hide the background. And now I've got this masked patch. So I'm going to save as cobblestone patch, select transparent PNG, save. I can now quit Photoshop. And now we're back to auto panel. Once again, we click the folder. To add a new blended layer, we're going to call this layer patch. It must be called patch, P-A-T-C-H, for this to work. I'm going to add an image, and the image is cobblestone patch. And now it's a little trickier than what happened before. You'll notice it's not exactly in the right place, and it's not the right size. That's because we weren't working at 100% like last time. So I need to adjust this patch to fit in the right spot. I'm going to click Move to go into Move Images mode. And I want to move the picture. Click on Picture. And now I can see uh, where the center is, more or less. And I need to figure out where this goes in order to line up correctly with, um, uh, with the other elements. One thing I can see for certain is that it's way too small. So I'm going to click on the picture resizing tool over here, picture zoom. And now when I click on this, uh, this three and drag uh, the mouse horizontally side, by, uh, side to side, it will make it larger and smaller. See, larger, smaller. And it looks to me like, I feel like I can see where two of these cobblestones line up. I'm looking at the gray cobblestones. Okay, it just jumped on me a little bit. Let's move back down. Now I'm going to go back to the picture move tool and see, can I find a home here? It's 
So this may take some experimentation, some trial and error. That's okay. Uh, don't expect it to come out just right on the first try. But with a little bit of tinkering and adjustment, you should be able to get a pretty good result. Let's click blend and see how this one turned out. Oh. It's not perfect. They don't exactly match the cobblestones that were underneath. But remember, we did this 100% in post-production. Let's zoom out a little bit. And on this scene, okay, so maybe they don't match the original cobblestones perfectly. But really, there used to be a tripod with a big shadow, and now there's not. Which means that this video is awesome compared to where it was before. It's gold. Click rotate. We're going to change that pitch 90, minus 90 to get it back where it was before. Click transform. Okay, don't be scared off by that shadow. That's because we're in preview mode. I'm going to click blend and watch this tripod disappear. Boom. Gone. Okay, so let's save this file. Save this file. Close Giga. And now we're back in, uh, in AutoPanda Video Pro. If you drag around, once again, you see that the tripod's totally gone with its shadow and everything else, and we've got a great looking usable scene. Okay, so render the video from here. We're all done. I hope you found this useful. I was really excited to find out about this tricks.